Good day, Golfi. Today is Monday, February 5th, 2024. I'm Jessica. And I am Marcus, coming to you from WBUC Studios of your school news. The word of the day is damask, which is a noun that refers to a usually shiny, thick fabric made with patterns or as a cinnamon, synonym for a grayish red color. Can you use that in a sentence, Marcus? I sure can, Jessica. The old chair was upholstered in blue silk, the mask fabric, which was now faded and for bare. And now for today's weather forecast. We have a rainy day ahead of us as a slight cool front moves through the area, bringing us breezy conditions as well. The high today is 65 degrees with a low of 52 degrees and a 70% chance of rain. Stay dry and have a great day, Bucks. In 1937, FDR announced his court packing plan. In 1917, Roger Williams arrives in America. In 1883, Southern Pacific Railroad completes New Orleans to California route. And in 1777, the United Artists is created. In current news, Temple Artists uses historical symbols and artwork to talk about black life. Tampa International Airport CEO Joe Wapino announces retirement. Taylor Swift won Album of the Year at the Grammys. This is her fourth win in this category. And Disney files appeal to overturn judges' ruling dismissing its lawsuit against Governor Ron DeSantis. Here's the joke of the day. Why was the math book bumped? Stay tuned, to the, uh, stay tuned to the end of the news for the answer. Kindness Week starts next week. Celebrate the people that make you the most happy. Starting Wednesday, we will be announcing dress-up days. 
We encourage you to participate. In celebration of Literacy Week, join us at Gulf High School for a night of fun. Night of community, sorry, can I start over? Mm -hmm. In celebration of Literacy Week, join us at Gulf High School for a night of community and literacy on February 15th at 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the Commons area. Gulf High will host a night of reading, magic, and fun. There will be treats, food trucks, free books, crafts, theme reading tents, and more. Come join us for a night of fun. So, why was the math book bombed? Because they had a lots of problems. That's all for our news. Have a uh, great, great National, National Weather, Weather Person Day, Gulf High. High. Welcome to February 5th on the National Day calendar. Today, we celebrate National Weather Persons Day, honoring the professionals who help us dress for success and stay safe in all conditions. But did you know the roots of modern meteorology can be traced back to the second century? A Greek scholar named Theophrastus wrote the Book of Signs, containing some of the earliest known weather predictions based on cloud patterns and astrology. Weather forecasting has come a long way since then, evolving from observations and folklore to sophisticated technology like Doppler radar and satellite imagery. We owe much to pioneers like John Jeffries, who began taking daily weather observations in 1774, and Vice Admiral Robert Fitzroy, who coined the term forecast and established the first weather service in the 1850s. So today, as you check the weather on your phone or watch the forecast on TV, take a moment to appreciate the science and dedication behind those predictions. Here's to the weather persons who keep us informed, rain or shine. I'm Marlo Anderson with the National Day Calendar. See you again tomorrow as we celebrate every day.